Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat, and welcome to the next episode of the Neat Ascension. Um, today, I want to talk about something that's been bothering me for quite a while. Um, it's something that I've tried to fix on numerous occasions, but I just end up forgetting about because I feel like it's one of those things that um, tends to be set in habit from when you're small. And if no one actually teaches you about it, then you end up living your life, you know, not knowing about it. And it just becomes so like deeply ingrained as a habit that it becomes pretty much impossible to fix. And what I'm referring to is posture. I'm going to briefly go over the importance of posture and um, eventually show you guys what exactly is wrong with my posture, as well as what I'm going to be doing to fix it, hopefully daily. Yeah, so posture um, can mean many things, but it's basically a simple definition of it. It's just a, I guess the sort of, you know, it's sort of your body's typical pattern of uh, muscle activation when you're at rest. So um, for example, I would say something like this is my typical posture. And you might be thinking, what exactly is wrong with that? But for those of you who do know about posture, um, you would probably tell that my posture is pretty much garbage because, well, for one, I have the classic uh, nerd neck, which is caused by sitting in front of a mostly computer all day and, you know, basically having your, your head craned forward like that and, you know, while you're using the mouse and the keyboard typing and just doing that, looking into the screen like that. And, this is kind of like an extension of that. It's just that my body's kind of tilted more towards the back instead of the front, but it has all the same, you know, patterns of activation where all the muscles in the front, basically, I can't really name them, but like abdomen, like I guess chest muscles, abdomen muscles, everything are all engaged while everything at the back is, um, you know, basically release loose what is basically loose and lengthened and this is bad for many reasons um the first reason this is bad is because it basically causes a lot of strain on the body and it's numerous areas of the body uh so for one having the slouch over posture typically is really bad for your i guess it's really bad for your circulation because all of this tension here, your body is, you're sort of meant to be, you know, upright like this for blood to flow, pop, flow properly. And when you're slouched over, uh, it can often cause a lot of circulation problems, especially, you know, to the upper areas of the body and pretty much everywhere. I think it's just, you know, obviously I read this stuff a long time ago, so I can't really know where I got this from, but I think it makes sense. I don't feel well and well, it's supposed to be really bad for circulation and sitting like this for a while, you can sort of feel it, you know, having that negative effect on your overall energy levels. So maybe that's why. Um, and it's also really bad for your back. Um, so I hurt my back lifting and part of the reason was because I would always force the last few reps lifting at like heavy weights. Um, you know, with a slouched back. And although I lift with better form now, I haven't lifted in a while, and I feel like the slouched over position kind of replicates that really bad lifting posture. And, um, you know, it'll often cause me back pain if I sit like this for too long or I'm slouched over. And um, it's not very good. And aside from that, I can also feel it causing a lot of tension in my sort of upper spine, especially in the area that my neck connects to my, I guess, you know, the rest of my body, like your, like my cervical spine, basically. And um, I just recently found out that, you know, for each, I guess, inch that your head is craned forward, it exerts like 10 extra pounds of force on your cervical spine. So over time, that can definitely cause a lot of like issues, I'm sure. I guess in older age, can contribute to things like your spine, like the discs in your spine degenerating. And at the same time, um, I'm pretty sure it also causes a lot of lower back strain as well, because I'll show you guys later, but like my lower back is also sort of curved. It's like my neck is curved this way and my lower back is curved this way. So it's kind of just forming like a, a C shape, like a rounded spine basically. And 
that I'm pretty sure most people with some, you know, whatever knowledge in kinesiology or whatever anatomy would, I guess, I would imagine they would know that that's quite bad. But I can definitely feel it. I feel a lot better when I'm like this. So ideally, my posture should be the exact opposite where it's like all the muscles in my back are engaged. Um, my my lower abdomen is more engaged and my chest is out, shoulders, uh, shoulders back and down and neck um, not craned forward and more relaxed. But sadly, because I'm a neat and sitting in front of a computer all day, all these activities I tend to do tend to make my posture naturally crap. And aside from that, I also feel a lot of tightness in my shoulders, I guess maybe because it's sort of like holding up my neck and compensating for all of the forward, I guess, force that's being applied by my neck being craned forward. And um, I also feel my back popping a lot. It's definitely not a good sign. Uh, I feel a lot of tension in my neck uh, near the area where my spine connects to my the rest of my body and some in my lower back sometimes. And um, also just sitting down in general has its own negative effects because it also, um, I feel like it's caused my hang, my hamstrings to tighten and um, my also like my upper, whatever quads to tighten as well and my hip to lose a lot of its mobility. So basically in a nutshell, uh, physically speaking, I'm very stiff. I don't have any flexibility, especially in my legs. And also the sitting down, I feel like has caused my legs to atrophy quite a bit. I can probably only run 20 minutes at a time without feeling completely gassed out. So maybe it's something I'll get into is running, but I feel like that would also help improve my posture somewhat. But yeah, just all the sitting and the sitting and the leaning forward are both, you know, damaging my body. And I can also feel a lot of pain and tightness here and yeah so that's that's all the physical effects of it pretty much and as far as mental effects go there's this um i guess study which was done but basically it's that um, they got participants to basically bite down on a pencil and um report their subjective feelings of happiness versus someone who just wasn't really doing anything and the people who bit down on the pencil tended to rate their happiness on a scale of one to 10, maybe like on average two to three points higher. And the reason for this, uh, I guess psychologists, I forget if they did like brain scans or whatever, EC, ECT, whatever it's called, I haven't learned about, learned about this in a while, but um, it's basically that when you bite down on a pencil, it's like the muscles that activate when you're smiling are also being activated. And that just kind of showed how the body is um, how the body influences your emotions, especially how different uh, patterns of muscle activation can you know, bring about certain emotions. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because at the same, in the same sort of uh, line of logic, you know, bad posture, I'm pretty sure also can have a negative effect on emotions. Um, for example, even just sitting like this, I can already feel just numerous parts of my body all tense up at the same time. I can feel like a heavy, like almost like depressed, anxious, tense feeling versus when I sit in proper posture, if you really pay attention, it's like, um, I can, I feel more light. I feel more open, if you will. These are all kind of like vague meditation, whatever, vague terms that people use to describe like their subjective feelings of whatever is in the body, but I feel like sitting like this with my chest out and with better posture certainly makes me feel a lot better. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure my long periods of sitting with my neck hunched over has definitely caused, you know, me to feel, you know, a lot of these negative emotions. I feel like being hunched over like this and having this area tensed up probably contributes to my anxiety because when I feel anxiety, I feel a lot of it in like my chest. It's mostly tightness and that weird like tension, like kind of like feelings of whatever, like tightness basically. And um, it's probably because um, a lot of, um, it's like my body is more primed. It's like that, it's like that 
say, that saying like neurons that fire together wire together. So basically, if if you have like nerves that are more that are firing all the time, which is in this case when I'm always hunched over, then um, if they're more likely to fire in all other situations, like for example when faced with new things like meeting people, for example. So. I'd say that by that logic, it probably influences my emotions in that sense. And also um, probably causes, you know, I think there's another study where they got participants to like basically do this in front of a mirror in front of the bathroom for like hold this position for like 30 seconds before giving a speech. And they found that people who did this ended up reporting that they felt more confident, more loose and everything. So it probably has something to do with the fact that, you know, even like the, in like the primate world in general and in most animal species, this sort of posture is more like guarded. It's more protective. It's like you're hunched over and you're protecting your neck. You're protecting the vulnerable, the vulnerable, vulnerable parts of your body versus sitting like this, you're more vulnerable to physical attack, but at the same time, it's kind of like a show of dominance, a show of confidence, a show of higher status, basically. All these things, and it's like higher status people tend to feel better, lower status people tend to feel like crap. So there's also that dynamic that's involved. And um, yeah, also there's the issue of my tongue posture, like mewing and stuff, but that's something that's probably a topic for another video. I feel like it's important to not bite off more than I can chew, I guess, as far as the self-improvement stuff goes, because it's pretty easy to get burnt out. Like I'm having trouble doing the positive affirmation stuff every day, just because I've been doing it like every other day. So that's not too bad, but like everything, I have so many things I want to improve on. So gotta like take it one bit at a time, I guess. So anyways, I'm gonna show you what my posture looks like standing up and sitting down and we'll show you the exercises I plan to do in the near future. So I'm going to be showing you guys my posture standing up and just the, I guess, the effects like that are pretty clear from it. So, um, yeah, this is my, I guess, kind of like an exaggerated form of how I used to stand. Well, this is actually how I, this is actually how my posture used to be back in like high school. And it was kind of like that. And yeah, just. I can understand why I had so little confidence because it's almost like it's like I can't project properly because like my airway is being cut off and this is kind of like my typical posture you can kind of see like the uh my neck being craned forward and um uh, I guess yeah it's like pretty bad I know and this is typically how I should be standing so Uh, let's see. Yeah, so yeah, it's a lot easier to talk like this. Um, definitely feel a lot better here. I can kind of feel like this part is being stretched because it's been so like constricted for so long. And um, yeah, shoulders, I guess back, ideally, I would have my core activated like that and basically just stand like this. So that would be ideal posture standing up. And also I'll be showing you um, my sitting posture. So this is how I typically sit mostly. Um, so something like that, I guess. A lot of times I'm actually sitting like this. So obviously it's pretty freaking bad. Um, or like sometimes like this when I'm when I'm gaming, I'll end up saying like that a lot. And yeah, either way you can kind of see how like rounded everything is. When ideally I should be sitting like this. I obviously need a much higher chair to be honest because well, it's like the desk is too high, so it's like. This is kind of promoting me to sit like that. So I basically need like a higher chair, like a better and also more comfortable chair because this chair, honestly, 
is giving my back cancer. So there's that. And yeah, I should be kind of just, you know, tilt my screen up a little bit and be just sitting like this. So yeah, that's proper posture for me sitting down. And now I'm gonna be showing you guys the exercises I'm gonna do.